When things aren't going according to plan for the Toronto Maple Leafs, you'll see a few key suspects that tend to always get the brunt of the blame. Mitch Marner, especially in the playoffs, William Nylander, Austin Matthews, and John Tavares. Notice something, Leaf fans? It's your core four. And I get it. Those guys are making so much more money than everybody else on the team. Obviously, they have to perform up to their abilities in order for the Leafs to win. I understand the pressure and the blame that gets put on them when the wins don't come in the playoffs. But when people say that John Tavares is incapable of being a good second-line center in the NHL anymore, and that his contract is one of the worst in the league, I start scratching my head. And people like to say that JT is super slow, and that he can't keep up in today's game because he keeps getting faster every year. He's never been fleet of foot, he's always been able to be effective, and honestly, he's finding ways to be just as, if not more effective nowadays. And the face-off stuff is overblown. He is a fine centerman in the circle. There's nothing wrong with him. And again, people like to point to the age, oh, that terrible contract with the age. He's only 32. And that terrible contract only has two years left on it, including this upcoming one. And for how bad some people talk about this guy being, you would think that for $11 million, he's giving you 30 points on the season. Guess what? In 80 games, a very healthy season, he scored 36 goals and 80 points in his age 32 season. It honestly boggles my mind that this is the contract that some people are saying is sinking the Leafs. And some people are even calling him untradeable. Now, is JT bound for a bit of a regression? Yeah, but still, dude, especially if the Leafs are eating some money on that contract with only two years left, I don't see why they wouldn't. That would be an extremely attractive trade chip if it ever came to that. I don't know, I think fans sometimes, they just see a guy have one, two, even three bad games, especially if it's in key playoff games, and they'll think, oh, this guy needs to go, he's the problem for the team. And it's not just Tavares with Leaf fans, this happens all around the league. And again, do I think Tavares is going to be regressing over the next two years of his contract? Absolutely I do, he's creeping up on his mid-30s. But a lot of people see him have a few bad games in key moments, or they'll see that he makes 11 million bucks and he's not scoring 40 goals every single season, and they'll say, oh no, he's no good anymore, this is a disaster, we gotta get rid of him. When in reality, given how the NHL works with guys who creep up into their early to mid-30s, honestly, everything JT's done over his time as a Maple Leaf has been a slam dunk success, and this contract is a win for the franchise. But of course, I want to hear from you guys, what kind of player do you think Tavares is at this stage of his career, and is he still a decent player, and are you happy with that contract, Leaf fans, overall, not just this season or the ones upcoming? Like, comment, subscribe, I'll see you in the next one, peace out.